So we've got Dark Souls. We've got Lord of the Rings. We're jumping into board gaming here for a moment. And there are a number of... Well, Star Wars. Star Wars. There are a number of titles out there that are just taking advantage of board gaming mechanics and, and allowing you to dip in and to play in that universe. And I'm on the fence, but I'm getting closer and closer with the Fantasy Flight Lord of the Rings board game. It's app-driven. That's what's been holding me back. I mean, I, I love Lord of the Rings. Massive Lord of the Rings fan. And the Fantasy Flight rules, they're okay. They're good enough. They're exciting enough. But the app has been what has been holding me back. Because truly, I'm an analog type of guy, despite spending 16 hours a day uh, digitally doing what we have to do. But I'm intrigued. And it's Lord of the Rings. And that got me thinking to this vlog, to this podcast, uh, titles that are well-known based on the IP, based on the narrative, based on kind of, uh, you know, like, again, Dark Souls, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, board games that you have to wonder, and, and all sorts of um, aliens, board games, the Aliens universe, all that legal stuff can be navigated. All that legal stuff can be set up. You, you put enough of a license out and you soak it with enough dollars and whoever owns that IP is going to allow you to sign on. I mean, 40K, Warhammer 40,000 Games Workshop, uh, not so much with the board games, although they have Talisman and they control their IP, but just farming out Space Marine everything, apps and books. So certainly there's money to be made. But that brings us to a bunch of titles, and I'm curious to, to hear about titles that you guys would think from a board gaming perspective that could translate successfully. Why don't we have this game yet? It's, it's a license to print money, and on top of that, it's probably an IP that you want to play. Number one, for me, we still don't have it. Where is it? Diablo. I mean, I'm going to commit a little bit of a heresy here. This is one of the reasons why I like Dark Souls. I mean, the IP is cool. The mechanics by Steamforged, they're okay. I mean, they, they're they okay. But it's the closest thing. Uh, the AI is nice. The grind, not so nice. The random loot drops, I don't mind. But it's the closest thing to a, a Diablo board game experience. And it just has me wondering, why. where's my Diablo board game? There's no Diablo board game. I mean, imagine this. Imagine this. Diablo, the base board game, just, just spin it on Diablo 3, right? The base board game, that, that gets you in Act 1. And then the other acts are expansion packs with a boss monster and some minions. And you flip over some random tiles, you fight some minions, you get some gold, you go back to whoever and you buy some stuff and there's some loot drops and some cards, and then you fight the bosses and you sell bosses. You sell Diablo at the end. It's, it's just a license to print money. And then to get even crazier, you make it a, a blind draw card game where you have the core and you have the miniatures and you have the packs, but then you sell packs and packs of cards, random cards of item sets and item drops. So the idea is you build your deck and let's say it's, you know, a tier one encounter and your character's at whatever level. So you draw from, you know, tier one deck, tier two, tier three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, uh, wherever it's going to go. And you randomly buy these cards. So you'll be randomly buying these cards, getting lots of doubles because there might be item sets. And then you take all those cards minus the doubles and you build your decks. I mean, that's that right there. I'd be going out, you know, do the decks like eight bucks a pop. You know, for, for 20 cards or so, probably make it 12, and then populate that from the game. I mean, imagine running around playing Diablo, getting item sets. I'd love to grind on that. I'd love to play on that. I mean, one of the aspects of Dark Souls that I, I really kind of enjoy is the armor sets that you have your figure, but then if you can randomly draw and acquire and assemble armor sets, you replace your figure with that armor set. And it, has, it does have in-game effect. Um, it changes some of your stats. It, it does things. It gives you more defensive dice. But it's not necessary. But I find myself grinding because I'm like, I want to replace my figure for this game with an armor set. Like, how is that for an obsessive personality from that perspective? Diablo, where is it? I don't even have it on my phone yet. I've been waiting for that. Like, just, just Blizzard, just the cash cow king, whatever that you could get. Cow king. There we go. I wasn't even thinking of that. 
print it out. Just a curiosity. So now in the comments, a curiosity from you guys. Um, what board game titles are you really, really surprised after all these years there's no game out there for it? That is. You're like, Fritz, that's a license to print money. 